Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Defensively against the Zai, you don't know what your opponent's pick is going to be. The problem with this Rakan pick is now you give them the the Ona counter pick, potentially. Now, they're looking towards this Lulu again for some of that mobility around the map. A lot more powerful with two, two four P. So if that minion wave is not there, you could probably just continue to push the issue, go forward there, and actually grab that kill. But not able to do so. With all of those minions, they do have to back away. Only getting the heal out of Violet, in fact, so not even getting any flashes there. So once again, it's all action in the mid lane. All right, getting in there on to Cody, and down he will go first. He's nearby, and there is a ward that did spot him, so Bobby Bentali just going to laugh at him. He's got level six, but I don't think you want to commit with Cody nearby. This is actually really risky. Ooh, Ackerman's here, and so is White Lotus. They're just going to jump onto this guy. Even the Moonlight Vigil comes in, and Cody is going to scoop up the kill. Kind of pinned down. You don't have a Mega Nar bar, so getting into this choke point against this Lilia is just so difficult. Emotes flashed here because they know <laughs> stealing this one away is, real, is, is basically unrealistic at this point. They're going for it. Oh, the, the guy's got that ultimate. The Mega Nar could not come any sooner. He's begging for it. Here it is, and he's going to get them against the wall. The Two will immediately go down, and Bobbit is no different. The sleep comes in way too little and way too late, as it's a triple kill already for Bugax. From the Latin America player, goes into the brush here. Ward has to be used, and then boom! Double stuns there. The follow-up from Ackerman, so perfectly done in a choke point like that. Oh. They were the ones coming in. We got more fighting. They're trying to burst down Cody before any of this goes, and they will get down, actually. Solid Snake as well in a lot of trouble, and Infinity caught in the mid lane. Nicely set up here from the side. Experience going over to Bobbit, but the big story here is that Tally is going to get more gold. He's sitting at 0, 2, and 3, but that doesn't really tell the story of his lead against Cody yeah. because he's 40 CS for, up right now, and all of those minions crashing into the mid turret means uh -oh. less gold for Cody. Bugak says red buff. Pizzachachi has no flash right now. He's just going to get run down in the... T um, yeah, I mean, Peace kind of grouped up for it at that Rift Herald fight, and Bugax found the perfect timing, and really it's all kind of the dominoes falling after that. And Sally's trying his best in the mid lane. He's really trying to be aggressive on the Aurelia. This is something they even talked about in that recent interview about it. Like, they need to win these lanes and get a comfortable spot in the mid game. As I say that, but Tali's getting CC down. The Vanguard's in from the Silas doing a lot, but he's able to turn it around as Bobbit comes in. And the Q from the Lee Sin. Will Infinity can obviously use this to their advantage. The fact that they have a 4 and 0 NAR. We just have to get to those fights first, and they have to stave the bleeding before then. They're looking for a fight on Detali right now. Yeah, he's trying to bait him in for the Leona, but guess what? Solid Snake's here, too. Nice dodge by Tally. He's trying to buy time for the Lilia to make his way up here. As a sleep will come in onto both of them. The Lee Sin trying to flash away, but it's not going to be enough. Swift up by the uh, Lilia. Big Gnar into the wall, but Bugax is just a little bit burnt out. And he will get taken down, shut down by Bob and put down quite literally. And um, yeah, just, just really doing a good job. I think playing around Bugax and him in the top side, even though he did get taken down and shut down by the Lilia, he is still very impressive. And he's actually looking for more. The autos come in, visit Chachi. Team fights use that lead to gain advantages elsewhere as White Lotus is alone. <laughs> Well, he's going to have to flash out of that one. If he didn't flash, he was so dead. So definitely the right maneuver there. The Dark Seal, as you mentioned, it's just like, you're not really going to be able to kill Babip unless you CC him 100 to 0. And uh, that's a really scary thought, especially because Ackerman's trying to get this engaged. Here comes the Lee Sin. Really nice kick over the wall, actually, to the stolen Solar Flare from the Silas. So they get the Leona. As here we go, finally they're able to lock down Bob Imp, and all of a sudden Zaya not going to be easy to lock down, but with the Meganar, they're looking for Tally. As here comes Solid Snake, going to look for the slow at least, and uh, this is quite the far chase. They might be able to get Tally, maybe, as Cody nearly dies to Violet, and Tally is still on the run, not going to be able to find another flawless duet. Bob actually can be CC'd 100 to 0 if he is isolated while he's trying to be greedy. Meanwhile, oh, we're not wasting any time getting into more fights. Bugax trying to go 1v1 against Chachi, but we got the teleport coming in, but it's not doing enough for the side of peace. 
And now that Silas is getting the work, but he's got Ignite onto him. And you see the damage here from Tally is just a little bit too much. Cody is going to get flashed on and hit down with that W. As now we do have the rotations coming in. We got Infinity looking for a little bit more. As the sleep will go down and the zone is it's there for Bobbit, but where is the follow-up? It's just not there. Oh, with the resets here for Infinity, it's actually going to give them a free soul point. But it does feel like this could have been a much nicer position. And slept like maybe Tally can jump in and kill everybody. Well, it's so risky. It's so risky to do that into the Aphelios who's got Crescendo and is just waiting. He's champing at the bit. Here we go. Speaking of which, they're going to get on top of the Leona who has to blow her stopwatch. It's now trying to go forward. The solar player not able to do too much. And now we'll go to Leona first as we have Bobbitt getting wrecked on the top side. Not able to survive for long enough. Tally is trying to go 1v5 quite literally. He's going to get one. And now we have the Zaya looking for the turn. Unbelievable plays right now. And the Aurelia goes in but unfortunately gets sunk down. Maybe the dream is dead. Finally, Vizitachi trying to turn this one around. And they should be able to, but Fugax is way too fed as the red buff. Will it be enough? No, it will not. Having the majority of your damage being basically only the Aphelios is, uh, you know, sometimes it's enough. But yeah. sometimes when you're facing a Federalian, it is not. As uh, we're seeing an engage right now onto the Jace. They're trying to drop down Vizitachi, and they will be able to. They take down the Jace. A huge sleep is coming in. Let's see if the Aurelia can get it done. Tally is in the back line doing so much damage, but he will eventually be taken out by Bugax. As we do not see the Aphelios this time, but Bugax is like, I don't care, I'm the AD carry. Unfortunately, not really able to stand up to Violet and his red buff. He is chasing them down. And this and we're going to see this Drake fight here. This is for Cloud Soul uh, itself, not Cloud Soul Point. They've already gotten that. Steal? No. No. Nope. <laughs> nice try. Blow up. When Lilia exists and she is this fed, might not be the plan anymore. You might actually have to just front to back team fight here, play around the fact that if you do lock up the Aurelia long enough, you might be able to kill a solid snake. Oh man, he was backing on a ward and that is not the time to be doing that. Tally. Over the wall with the ult flash, the kick not gonna help out too much. Even nearly gets Cody into some trouble. Is Bobbit gonna take that? Is it right. in good position to poke? They're gonna try to contest here, but as you mentioned, no smite, no hope of taking the Baron. And now, you see the turn comes out here from the side of Peace, and they'll just get a bonus orange buff on top of it all, taking down the Gnar, as Bobbip even getting a bit more, gonna force that cleanse out of White Lotus. Had to use a bunch of stuff to get that out, but you can see Peace, they are not done just yet. The flash comes in, big charm though, and now we got White Lotus actually kiting back. You gotta be careful about this. CP now coming in, but it looks like Peace, even though they get themselves into a little bit of a dangerous distribute. Yeah, this is going to be really, really critical as it's timing out now. This is when Peace are going to look to, to pounce. There's the Solar Flare. Oh, they want White Lotus. He doesn't have Cleanse this time. If the stun went down, that could have been his doom as the stun here from the Aurelia going to be missed as we got Solid Snake on the back line, but he's being torn to shreds right now by the Zaya. And Infinity just a little bit uh, out of sorts here as we have the Flash come in the sleep onto the Aphelios. And now will come the Cavalry. Peace are looking to take down all of these bowling pins in one fell swoop as Tally now diving under the turret will be able to snipe this one. Actually, Jachi does pick it up, but with the Baron, they will be looking at this game. Oh, very, very close game back and forth. But once Tally's lead started to snowball so much that he was practically immortal in these team fights, Bobip's follow ups were solid. And this is a very, very decisive win here in what was a very tumultuous mid game for Peace.